All right, we are back with more Life is Strange Beyond the Storm, Hell is Empty. Um, I switched over to OBS. The game does not have a V-Sync setting. Um, so I just switched over to OBS. It doesn't seem like on the preview I see any of the, uh, the screen tearing that I'm seeing on my main monitor. So I'm assuming it's just not getting along with my main monitor for some reason. Yeah. Did we ever check that one from mom here? Yeah, whatever. So, shower time, I believe. Is that David's towel? Ew. Where the hell is mine? David's razor. Okay. My towel's probably in here somewhere. Just toss Lots the joint. of washcloths. No towel. Uh, David's razor. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. Hmm. Kind of digging this this Squirt. classic kind of music. Pirate towel time! Can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Pirates are awesome. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Aww. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water. Don't let me down. Time to dye her hair. She gets a blue hair at some point, and we got blue hair dye, so. More of the generic indie kind of copyright strike, well, copyright content ID claim music. That's nice. They seem to have an infinite supply of these songs. Just kind of. Dull, sleepy. Feel like I'm watching something I have seen. She is dying in her. Oh, she only went part of the way. But she's on her way to being the Chloe that we love. So. Alright, outfit time. I need Hell. She's stealing her mom's clothes or something? Or is that like a guest room? I don't know. Awesome boots though. She is like perky and happy. It's odd what to see Chloe that way. Like wondering on this easy ass day. Mm, bonus outfits, let's see. Hot dog man, nah. Oh god, I chose one. No, I don't want to wear the same outfit. I was trying to exit that menu, and I I did not do it carefully enough. I just pressed B without thinking. Alright. Um, dragon, classic gro Chloe. I'm all about the classic Chloe. Yeah, works for all me. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Looking good, Chloe. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs.
Something very creepy about that. Oh, Pure ghost. Bioshocky. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Slim to none, I would say. Otherwise, it's going to be a short segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. She does work I in a diner. Stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Seeing the not-so-bad side of David, the side that she likes. Yeah, I don't want to watch creepy old people dancing, that's fine. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Windows is oh, backing I up. Oh, I am so glad to see Always you. Always chooses fun times. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> Picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. Oh boy. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? <sighs> it means that from today forward, I'm going to Take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. The idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. What? You didn't know? Detective Dickwad here went through all of my drawers and my bed. It's what you asked me to do. Make sure she's got no drugs or alcohol for her own good. Oh, my goodness, Chloe. I'm sorry. I thought that... I'm sorry, Joyce. I didn't know this it's would upset Chloe. you who deserves the apology. Well, Chloe, I'm sorry that I violated your privacy. I did it with your best interest in mind. That's it? That's your apology? Well, now, I thought that- What about sorry for not trusting me in the first place? 
and convincing my mom to mistrust me too. That's not David's fault. What about sorry for calling me a loser and always talking to me like I just came out of juvie? What about sorry for lecturing me all the time when you're fucking no one? You're not my dad. Who the hell gave you that right? What about sorry for moving in with my mom against my wishes? Chloe. Chloe, I know you don't like me. I know you think I don't understand you, but I do. I've been meaning to show you something. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Son of a bitch, humanizing him with the wounded soldier Here. thing. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. Kinda makes me hate David less. Bunch of jerks. Yeah, Wilkes, how do you reject that offer? That tarnishes my whole view of David that I had David throughout so the first young. game. And this Phil guy. They look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Aw, oh, shucks. I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? A lot of stuff. Gun save live something. Rice cereals, of course. He's got all the survivalist stuff going on. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. Very helpful, the Williams stuff. It's just generic. Wasn't that box upstairs? Did they have two boxes named Williams stuff that are. I mean, that's just confusing. Those weird little wispy things. Never really figured out what those are. 1337, the train number. That's a neat train, I guess. I should have fixed the boat. I'm sailing around the world in a fishing boat or whatever that is. I know a thing or two about cars in real life, though, so probably got this. Damn it!
better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the There's right tool. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Problem. Uh, let's see your texts, David. I don't know why we didn't read that correctly, but whatever. All right, let's uh have a look at this. It's I guess to not start like off. I need a manual, but I'm really glad it's here. All right, uh, check the this cooling. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Just gonna let that be. All right. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Well, maybe. Um... My backup the is done, yeah. The cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Serpentine. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? In ye olden days, you moved the alternator a little bit. Tighten it. Modern cars have self-tensioning ones. I guess we're doing it the old-fashioned way. <sighs> Much better. We're getting, we're getting through it. 